Sabi ng Panginoon through the prophet Ezekiel, I myself will come to pasture my people. I myself will rescue them. I myself will take care and tend the flock. Relax, relax, relax. Hindi, umiiyak ka eh. Sabi nga namin sa seminaryo, kudos, ipagpatuloy. Salamat sa pagbibigay ng sarili. How we arrived at this moment is nothing short of a miracle. This event is a testament of how self-giving and generosity can go a long way. I have given parts of myself to all of you through these years. And a few moments ago, you have witnessed how I promised before God and before all of you that I will continue this life of self-giving. Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest? who offered Himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with Him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all? I do with the help of God. But whatever I have given, it is only because you have given me something as well. Ako ay nagbibigay ng biyaya dahil ako Bago ang lahat ay nabiyayaan muna. Eugene, you have waited for this date. And I believe even if you have chosen this date, perhaps I could go farther and say that this is the day that the Lord has made for you. You are soon to be ordained priest. And God is telling you, that through you, God will pasture the people. So what is your response? The response that is expected of you is that you be open to Him. And along this line, St. Peter in the second reading is telling that you are to be a witness to the sufferings of Christ. Having a big head will never guarantee a successful ministry. Having a big heart will qualify the ministry that is being asked from you. Alam namin, Eugene, you are gifted with knowledge and intelligence. Try to have a big heart. Because as the introduction, what Father Polong said, you participate in the threefold functions of Christ. That you are a prophet. That you are a priest. And that you are a king. Prophet, you will be a teacher. Teach people to love. Teach people to to forgive. Teach people to bear witness to what is happening around. You will proclaim the Word of God but proclaiming the Word of God demands fidelity to the good news. You will be 
a priest. Offering not only God's word to people, but offering yourself for their sake. For the sake of the flock. You will be a king, but it is not the common thinking, the common notion or idea of a king. You will be a king so that you will be given power to serve your people. Please read and reread chapter 34 of the book of the prophet Isaiah. And you will be able to say and respond to the invitation of the Lord as in the gospel would tell, Come, Father. Sana, sana, entitlement should be absent from your vocabulary. Thank you, God, for giving me second chances. Munti ka na akong malunod, munti ka na akong makik out, na yung mga ganyang bagay. And it is in these lowest moments of mine I experienced a God who gives second chances. Thank you, God, for meeting me halfway, for going out of your way to make me and to save me. Ang pinakahuling naging bunga ng 30-day retreat ko, I could clearly hear God saying to me, Let me love you, Eugene. Let me love you. And today, tinitignan ko, andito mo kay lahat. I couldn't ask for more. Thank you, Lord, for making me feel loved. Indeed, sa grasya ng Diyos, May raraos. Thank you, Lord. Nag-uumapaw na pasasalamat sa inyong lahat. Please continue praying for me. Hindi porket na-ordenan na ako. <laughs> Hindi ko na kailangan ng dasal ninyo. Mahina pa rin ako. Uh, naubos pa rin yung pasensya ko. I do not see things as others would see. Please help me. Please continue praying for me that as I break the bread every day, may I render justice to the words, to the root words of the word Eucharist, to remember the good graces of the Lord, and to celebrate all my masses in thanksgiving. Pray that I may not grow spoiled or entitled. But may my roots grow deep in prayer and service. Pray that I may receive sufficient blessings to remind me how loved I am. And I pray that God may give me sufficient curses to rise from and to always remember that I always have to rely in God's grace. Pray for me. And please, pray with me. I want to imitate Mary that my heart may be big enough to keep all of you and to keep all these good things in my heart by her example and her openness to God's grace. Indeed, anything is possible.
I have said, God will use you if you are open to His promptings, to His leading you, as long as you let Him transform you.